Today we're here at the Maquapeak Park boat launch and we are going to be retrieving our Ulican egg mats that we deployed yesterday. So we have four sites that we're looking at. There's a couple at Sapperton Bar, there's another one at Patella, and then there's another one just out here upstream of the Portman Bridge. So Ulican and, and White Sturgeon in particular were identified by First Nations on the working group of the Environmental Assessment as important species to understand where they are in terms of a replaced bridge and what the potential risks are during construction activities and things like that. We're uh, picking up our uh, Ulican egg traps. What they consist of is an angle iron frame with some filter furnace attached. We uh, attach it down, secure it, and tie it to a buoy and over the side of the boat it goes. Uh, sits on the bottom of the river for 24 hours. We go back, use the crab boat, pull them all back up, set them to the side and then we bring them onto shore and uh, go through the proper procedures to uh, try and extract the uh, fresh Ulligan row out of the, uh, out of the mats. Nobody's done this in the Fraser before. It was a very interesting combination of First Nations technical and, and uh, skills and, and, and knowledge about where these fish are and uh, working with the, the Western scientists. There is not enough data within the department on, on Ulligan research, so uh, it's very important that we have communities that have traditional knowledge to use for the studies. So after the egg mats soak for about 15 minutes, uh, the heat in the water to de the eggs. They have an outer membrane that sticks to the mats here. So the warm water helps break that down so the eggs will come off easily and also changes their color so they're more of a white as opposed to opaque. That will help us hopefully I see them a little bit better. The eggs are about 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters, so they are kind of hard to find. Awesome. Good eye on that one.